Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Now, I can't believe it's been around five months since I last filmed my other YouTube video. Like, time has just absolutely flown by. And before you know it, you've left it so long. So I am back. Um, a lot has changed since I last filmed that video. I have changed jobs, which was the best decision that I've ever made. And I am now a fiance. So I have now got engaged to my um, now fiance of nearly nine years. There we are. So this is my engagement ring, which I absolutely adore. It's just the most beautiful ring I've ever seen in my life and if I could go if I'd been to a shop I would have chosen something like this myself like I just think it's perfect so yeah so a lot's changed in this video I thought it'd be quite nice for you to just explain how my engagement sort of um happened like where it was and all of the details because I remember before I got engaged I always liked watching these type of videos so let's get in to what happened so one evening um, me and Bradley who's my fiance we were looking online for short um, weekend trips away to Paris now it was his suggestion and like normally I'm the one that kind of books like our holidays and things like that but he just thought you know what like we haven't really been anywhere this year like you've been in hospital and stuff let's just go somewhere nice so I thought okay brilliant let's let's do it so we found a really nice hotel and the one that we stayed at was the Pullman Tour Eiffel, I, I believe it's called. And honestly, it was just the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen in my life. When we um, like eventually got to Paris and we, we checked into our hotel room, um, the guy said to us, you're staying in one of the nicest rooms in the hotel. And I thought, oh my gosh. But honestly, couldn't recommend it any further. It was just beautiful. So, um, on the 2nd of December 2017, we got on the Eurostar. Um, we went to the, um, I think it's the Louvre Museum. And we walked around for ages and ages and ages. If you are in Paris, uh, or looking to book a trip to Paris, I'll definitely recommend going to that museum. It's possibly one of the most beautiful museums I've ever seen. It's massive, so prepared to walk quite a lot. But honestly, it was lovely. Um, we saw the Mona Lisa, and then we decided to... Um, go back to our hotel, um, get rid of all our like luggage and everything like that and get changed to go out for the evening. Now, I can't even put into words how special that day was. It was possibly like the best day of my life. Everything about that day was completely perfect and I had absolutely no idea that in that evening Brad was going to propose to me. So it did come as a complete shock. So in the evening we went out for dinner, we went to this like little Parisian restaurant um, really close to our hotel, it was only like opposite to where we were staying. Brad had like a steak um, and a coke and I had um, like a burger because like we, we didn't take that many euros with us and because he was paying for the dinner I didn't really want him to spend a lot of money on um, my dinner. So yeah, I just had that, which was lovely. It was really, really nice and I had a cocktail as well. So we went out for dinner and then in the evening when it got dark, we thought, you know what, let's see if we can get on the Eiffel Tower. So we queued for probably about an hour or so. And when you go to the Eiffel Tower, um, you have to go through security. So I was in the line first and Brad was standing behind me. He then decided to take his coat off, um, it must have been like minus, <laughs> it was definitely below freezing, it was really really cold and he was taking his coat off and I couldn't understand why um, because everyone else had their coats on and it was far too cold to take it off but anyway I just, I didn't think too much of it, I just thought he was being a bit weird and then he took his coat off and then we went through security, I went free first and I um, got through really easily and just stood waiting um, and I turned around and I could see him talking to the lady on security and um, and I, I wondered why but I, I didn't think anything of it, I thought she was just asking him questions and then he, um, then she like kind of looked at me and smiled and I was kind of like, oh, like 
I don't know, I don't know why she's smiling at me, but I thought it was a little bit weird. So we decided um, to go, we went through security, went um, to the Eiffel Tower, we got to the very top, which was beautiful, it was really foggy though that day, so we couldn't really see much, um, and it was quite windy as well. I think we stayed there for about like 15 minutes or so, and then um, Brad was like, oh, like before we go back down, should we go um, to like the floor below? So I was like, oh, okay, because when we were on that floor, first of all, we got quite a nice view and it wasn't as foggy, so I was like, okay, let's go back down. So we were walking around, we were both getting really, really cold, because it was about 10 o'clock, I think, by this point. So, um, so yeah, we were both walking around, and then um, I kind of was like, oh, should we go back down? And then he kind of like hesitated and was like, oh, let's go over here. So we went round, and um, then he said to me, oh, Roxana, like, we haven't just come here to sightsee, and I just lost it then, I was just like, oh my god like is he gonna propose because I had absolutely no idea and honestly it was just the most perfect time and perfect day that it couldn't have gone any better so um so yeah he got down on one knee and said like you know I want to spend the rest of my life with you will you make me the happiest man in the world will you marry me and I was just like oh my god, like really like nervous, there wasn't too many people like standing near us so no one like really saw what was going on, um, so yeah, I got down on one knee and I said yes and then we went straight back to our hotel afterwards, phoned our families, like told them and then did the big like Facebook announcement and that and then um, we went back to the hotel into the bar and had a couple of cocktails to celebrate which were like 30 euros for two, they were pretty expensive, but it was worth it, it was a really special occasion, and it was just magical really. So we sat there, drunk our cocktails, and just, just chilled for the rest of the evening, and I honestly, looking back at it now, I know why the lady smiled at me at security, because he didn't want to go through the machine and um, because he was worried that it would set off the like the buzzer and that would be it that would be game over he's like it would give the game away basically um but she was smiling at me because he like pulled the ring out of his jacket and showed her so she knew what was going to happen and I had absolutely no idea he told me that he had the ring for like three months beforehand and and it was like the last one I had, they had to get it resized and sent off and I had absolutely no idea. And I think for me, last year was a pretty awful year for me. A lot of things were going on like with my health and stuff and I really wasn't happy and Brad said to me that he decided like when he was going to propose because I'd come back from hospital and I was extremely ill and I was lying in bed and couldn't get out and he just asked my mum there and then and said like can I marry Roxana um I think he knew that it was gonna make my year and honestly it did like that's the one thing last year that happened that was just so amazing and I've been like I'm one of these people that before I got engaged I was watching all the videos on like YouTube of people getting engaged and thinking oh that's so magical like Oh, I wish Brad would get engaged to me, but honestly, been with him for like nearly nine years and I had absolutely no idea what was going to happen and that if, honestly, that's the best feeling, like just not knowing when when you're going to get engaged. Um, so yeah, I would film Bradley in this video, but he's not here at the moment, he's on a work trip, so he can't be in this video, and to be honest, he's not really like a big fan of being filmed anyway, so he he probably would be like reluctant <laughs> to have the camera shoved in his face, but um, yeah, we're both really, really happy and excited. I am a little bit nervous about wedding planning because I didn't realise there was so much to it, so yeah, there's a lot of wedding magazines that I'm going through at the moment to try and get ideas. But I thought I would let you all know because everyone has been so supportive of my YouTube videos. My IOH videos, I can't explain to you how much I appreciate all of your comments 
and um, messages on Instagram and Facebook. Um, at the moment with my health, I'm absolutely fine. Um, I was supposed to have a neurologist appointment in March, but it got cancelled and I haven't rearranged it. But I think because I'm in such a happier place now, um, like my health has improved and I'm doing Slimming World as well so I can get into a wedding dress. I will make a video on Slimming World because so far I've been doing it for three weeks and I've lost eight and a half pounds. So yeah, that has helped me a lot as well. So I will film a, a video on that. Um, but yeah, just to update you really. Um, I will explain as well, like unfortunately I did have some sad news. Um, January of this year my nan sadly passed away and I was extremely extremely close to her um, She was kind of like a second mum to be like I saw her every weekend when I was growing up So that was quite upsetting and I feel like now is the right time that I can like get back into making YouTube videos um, I'm so pleased that she knew that Brad um, Had proposed to me when we got back from our trip in December. She was in hospital and um, we came and told her and she was telling all the doctors, oh, and um, like Bradley's proposed to Roxana, they're getting, like my granddaughter's getting married, I'm so excited. And I'm grateful that like, although Brad didn't know, like we no one knew that my nan was gonna die at that time. I'm so grateful that she knew that he had because um, when we saw her in hospital, she took the engagement ring off my finger and put it on hers. And the smile on her face, I'll just never forget. So, I'm so, so grateful that she knew um, that we were going to get engaged. And she said to me um, when we were in that hospital room, like, the words will really haunt me forever, really. Um, but they mean a lot. She said to me that I won't be there for your wedding, but I'll be there in spirit. And I believe that she will be, because she's just, like, the most, such a special person in my life. So... That is, that is really my story. That's what's been going on over the past couple of months. Um, like I said, I am so, so excited and I can't wait to get married. I think we're going to leave it a couple of years. Um, because, well, we have to save first of all, because it's just like weddings are so expensive. I was looking on the internet, it says the average wedding costs 25 grand. I was like, there is no way, <laughs> like if I, I can't like try to save for a house, like somewhere to live. So... Yeah, the wedding is not going to cost as much as a deposit on a place. <laughs> but, but yeah, so thought I would share um, my news. I've got um, a couple of videos coming up. So like I said, I'm going to do one on Slimming World. Um, I'm probably going to do a makeup video as well at some point. Um, I'm going to do, my, if you're interested in like knowing like about my hair and how I get it this colour, then I'll make a YouTube video on that. Not sure if you're interested, but if you are, then I will let you know. Um, if you've got any more sort of video ideas that you would like me to do then let me know in the comments and I will get back to you and answer any sort of questions or anything like that that you may have. Um, like I said my health is absolutely fine. I've actually um, stopped taking my medication. I haven't been taking it for about four months so I've completely stopped taking Diamox um, and I'm not getting any eye pain or anything like that so it seems to be completely fine. I don't know if because my life has um, sort of changed and I've sort of changed jobs and everything like that. I don't know whether that's because of it or or what, but yeah, I'm in a really happy place and I can't wait to film more videos for you to watch. So yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you do like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.